Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Chris uh, over at DuramaxTuner.com. Today we're in a 15 LML Duramax. Um, we have a trailer loaded up behind us with a Hummer. Um, and we wanted to talk a little bit about exhaust gas temperatures and, and what guys expect, what guys question about when they call into the shop or you read on the forums. Um, EGTs, exhaust gas temperature. What is safe, what is not safe? There's a couple ways to identify exhaust gas temperatures. If you're max effort driving at the at the drag strip or on the street, EGTs can get pretty high, and that's not really the temperature that we're most concerned with. What we're most concerned with is exhaust gas temperatures in a towing scenario like we are, and being able to monitor or control how high those exhaust gas temperatures get. One of the new features that we have over at DuramaxTuner.com is smart EGT control. So, Jamie, what is that? We have a calibration in place now that uh, monitors the exhaust gas temperature and defuels uh, post-turbo pit one uh, about uh, 1050, oh, yep. um, which uh, comes out to about 1350 uh, out of the manifold. So one of the things that we were able to do is we were able to reference what a true manifold reading is versus the bank one EGT sensor on the factory exhaust. And we were able to calibrate the truck to once it gets to a certain temperature, the truck cuts back fuel. Now, to a lot of guys, they're like, oh, you're cutting back power. Well, not necessarily, because we have in the calibration for the transmission to actually downshift the gear, bring up RPM, bring up turbo boost, and then allow the truck to vamp back into its normal fuel curve to keep a, a good power in motion, or a good power band, per se. Yeah. Um, so, we just took a hill, right? Um, the way we have everything set up, like you had said, is around 13 to 1,350 degrees. So we want to be able, that's our target number. We don't want to exceed that 13 to 1,350 degrees for periods of time. You're pulling something under load, um, or you're pulling in um, hilly terrain, the topography is challenging, the truck is working, EGTs are really important you know, for the, for the uh, seasoned tower such as myself. I know previously with my old truck, I had the old standard gauge there on the pillar, and uh, always I was it. always <laughs> watching it, you know, to the point where uh, when I was towing, I think I had more eyes on the uh, gauge than I did in my mirrors in ahead of me. But yeah, you always always want to keep that number just right. You don't want to, uh, I always try to sustain something under 1250. I know the manufacturer says sustain over 1400 is kind of the abort. Uh, we set our calibration at 1350 to just kind of kind of leave a little bit of play there but yeah not at sacrifice of power the truck still runs efficiently still has a good power band still working hard but keeps it safe so you don't get into that heat soak that uh, really starts making towing challenging and the things that are behind you are typically recreation fun or part to part of occupation it's a bad day when you're that guy on the side of the road <laughs> In your Walmart, truck, Miller, Pipe, yeah, Turbo, yeah. Turbo. I have not been there, but I've uh, <laughs> talked to many of customers that have, and it's it's never a good call. Yeah, so I mean, we just went up a couple hills. You know, some of the more aggressive hills in our area, right? You know, we have eight, ten thousand pounds behind us. We didn't feel a problem or uh, an issue with the D rate. The transmission did what it was supposed to. It downshifted. It brought up RPM, and the truck maintained a power curve. So. We weren't into a situation where the truck felt down in power. If we weren't talking about this or weren't identifying it, you would not notice this in a day in day out scenario. Um, so like you said, the guys that are in uh, higher altitudes or the guys that are in the mountains or the guys that tow aggressive loads yeah. that are really cautious about EGTs, I'm not saying to not watch the gauge, but I'm saying you can have a little bit more peace of mind when you are operating your vehicle on a daily basis. Yeah, this is a, this is a must have for the guys that are towing heavy loads or or really work in their trucks. So for all of our existing customers, uh, there is upgrades or updates available if you give us a call at the shop. Um, as far as new potential customers, this is a staple in our initial tuning. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at the shop, 815-568-7920. This is Chris. I'm Jamie. Thanks for watching.